Welcome. This is Snake. Okay, I won't do the David Hayter voice anymore. But here we go. This is the Metal Gear Solid Play Arts Kai Solid Snake figure for the 25th anniversary of the Metal Gear franchise. And this is a piece people have been waiting for for a long time, and I know I have as well. I couldn't wait to pick this one up, and as soon as I saw it, I just had to get it. Uh, some nice photography of Snake on the back. As we know, Metal Gear Solid was a very cinematic game. So we've got a film strip here with some images of Snake. Right, let's uh, let's open him up and take a look. Right, here's Snake. And this is what he comes with. He's got uh, extra fists. You can just pull the hands out here and uh, insert them onto the pegs available. He comes with his sock and pistol. That. Some nice detailing on there, and it has a detachable silencer on the end. It also comes with his famous FAMAS rifle. Nice solid piece. It's got a, a plastic strap, so you can uh, attach it to him and carry that. Well, the uh, Play Arts Kai Peace Walker Snake is a smaller build. Um, Play Arts Kai have had problems with their scale before, but uh, I mean it's not too much difference. But I mean, with Snake being a clone, you'd think it'd be the same height. Okay, let's take a look at the articulation on Solid Snake. He's got a ball joint in the head, which gives a great range of movement, even the collars articulated so it doesn't hinder it at all. For the first time ever we've got uh, articulated bandana so you can actually pivot that around gives him a, a more dynamic look. It's just inserted with a peg into the back of his head that fits snugly. We've got uh, ball jointed shoulders here and a hinge at the elbow can move that to uh, cover up the hinge. Uh, swivel hands with a pivot. Got a ball jointed waist and uh, this is made of a softer plastic so it gives a better range of motion for the legs, doesn't hinder them in any way. Get some good crouching positions. Um, double jointed knees. Uh, we've got a sock and pistol holder here which uh, is fully functional. Um, Feet, feet move apart, you can get a good stance on that, you can uh, pivot them as well. When I first saw images of this snake, I wasn't unsure about the sculpt, but now in hand, I think it looks fantastic. The way they've done the skin, it's uh, closer to the Hot Toys type of quality in the skin. It's got a, a realistic look to it. It's come a long way from the Chris Redfield skin that they, uh, they tried there, which really wasn't very good at all. But uh, it looks like they're progressing in the right direction. This is a definite recommendation for any Metal Gear Solid fans. And with Meryl, Solidus and Raiden on the way, write down in the comments which character you'd want them to do next. See you later.